Hey everybody, it's Ruth from Fire Sign Tour. I hope everybody's well. Gemini! It's time for your January 2022 reading. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given by the cards if you choose to do anything at all. It's your journey, not mine. Just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. You can check your moon rising or Venus sign readings if you think you might want something that might resonate a little bit better. Keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can be but vice versa. Might even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And our dear friends, cross watchers are always welcome at the first turn tarot table. Everybody's always welcome at my table. I appreciate everybody stopping by to say hello to little old me. Thanks for coming down. If you're new here, think we might vibe and stuff. Think you want to come back and hang out some more. Hit the subscribe button, the notification bell. That'd be super cool of you. If you're returning, welcome back. It's always nice to see a familiar face. I have open comments back up, so feel free to leave a comment. Just please don't be a jerk jerks will be dealt with and that's all I'm gonna say about that anybody can hit the like button at any time it all helps the channel and all helps the videos be circulated to those who might need the messages so without further ado never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading and if it's not your message leave the cards on the table and walk away it may not have been meant for you nine of swords four of wands popped out Some of you may be nervous about an upcoming event. Possibly, that's what I'm feeling off of that. Maybe your nerves are shot from family to get togethers from the holidays. I don't know. Could be upcoming. You could be moving through it or getting past it. I don't know. Maybe something that happened at an event has you all frazzled. All right, one more good one this way. Get them unbold. Oh, and welcome and get them down for you, Jem. Heavenly Father, Mother Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guide, Dark Angels, I ask for any messages you have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Thanks for coming out and hanging out with me today. I appreciate you. I'm grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given, and I ask that you help me use it to bring Gemini to their highest possible spiritual good and put them on their highest possible spiritual path. Okay. I'm gonna put things, hold on. Drive me crazy. Put things where they belong here. Okay. Do, 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 do. Set you here. Until I'm ready for you. Set you here until I'm ready for you. All right, give him one more good shuffle and a cut. Two cups reversed. Ace of Wands, bottom of the deck. Okay. How you feel, what you think. I don't like that outcome. All right, talk to me about the person Gemini's dealing with, please. Talk to me about the person Gemini's dealing with. Hey, how about no? Six of Cups, bottom of the deck. Y'all may have been kicking it a minute. That's almost kind of sweet. Almost. That's strange. You're like half mirroring each other.
One of the Two of Cups reversed for Gemini. One of the Two of Cups reversed for Gemini. The Devil. Four of Wands reversed. Huh. Could be a Capricorn you're dealing with. Doesn't necessarily have to be. Either one of you could have Capricorn in your chart or fire. Specifically Aries. Wow. You're bound but not together. Could be a... I'm just throwing it out there. It might be a sexual connection. I don't know. I mean, the devil, a high priestess. This is like soulmate shit. This is soulmate shit. The door is closed. It's not stable. Possibly the tower got dropped on it. Four of Wands is... Four of Wands reversed is my minor arcana tower card. Why the Emperor reversed for how Gemini feels about the person they're dealing with? Why the Emperor reversed? Vulnerability. Sadness. Not seeing the two full cups. Things might be a little out of control. King of Wands. Fortune reversed at the bottom of the deck. You feel like they have the ability to manifest it. They want it. They're juggling. Very vulnerable. So you feel like they're too vulnerable right now. Trying to make up their mind. Want to manifest it. Want to move forward. Trying to make up their mind. Why the three of cups reversed? Well, what Gemini thinks of the person they're dealing with. Gemini, maybe you have mixed up feelings toward them. Maybe this is just a strong sexual connection with the potential to go places, but somebody's trying to make up their mind. One of the three cups reversed. Gemini, maybe you're the one with a broken heart. I'm not taking all of these. I'll take the Emperor reversed, though. Pentacles reversed. They're closed off. They're not all about connecting. They're vulnerable. They want they want to extend that pentacle, but they're not. They're closed off. Yeah, when it comes to connection, they are confrontational. Not all about it. Some kind of feud here. Why the Wheel of Fortune reversed? 
Moon reversed. Unfinished business. Clarity. Clarity in regards to unfinished business. One on the hangman reversed. You want to clear the air, you want to clean things up, you want to be able to move forward. Why the full reversed? Queen of Swords, you want to tell the truth. Tell the truth about something. Come forward with the truth. Why things weren't balanced, why things weren't equal. Why the Magician reversed? Three Swords reversed. Justice reversed. Page of Pentacles. Okay, so... I see the apology. I see the end of the heartbreak. I do not see a leveling of the playing field. I see apology accepted. But I don't see much coming of it. I'm not going to lie. This was toxic and unstable. This was meant to not come together. Lovers reversed at the bottom of the deck. How ironic. Why the high priestess? Why the high priestess? It could be an extremely intuitive person. Yeah, they are not financially stable. Possibly a little needy and codependent or no longer single. Not throwing shade, cross watchers. Seven of Swords. Not liking that. Why the Seven of Swords? Three cups reversed. Yeah, they ain't all about that. <laughs> they ain't all about that. How do, they, how do they feel about Gemini? One of the King of Swords. They do not want to come together. Something about lies and deception. Star reversed. Yeah. <laughs> There's no healing here. You are an unfulfilled wish. You were a logical decision that they had to make. King of Pentacles upright, Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. They still hold a cup for you. They still have feelings for you. They've moved through this. And they feel like you've moved through it too. Why the Three of Swords? By the three swords, what they think of you. Queen of Cups, they still hold a cup, but they still hold heartache. Eight of Cups. They've moved on from this. Five of Swords, yeah. I'm hearing, feeling, sensing thoughts of you pour salt in a wound. Hermit reversed at the bottom of the deck. They, they change the subject when you get brought up. Don't know why. There's hurt feelings here. There's hurt feelings. Intended actions towards Gemini. Seven of Pentacles reversed. Ace of Cups. They know there's no potential for growth here.
Ace of Swords. Positive feelings, positive thoughts, but they're they're blocked off. They feel like they're they're still hanging on to stuff. And hope is not one of them. High Priestess. There's still a connection. They still feel it. But they know nothing of fruit of it. Seven of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck. Why the Eight of Swords? Why the Eight of Swords for who Gemini is dealing with? Why the Eight of Swords? The Chariot. Distance. Ten of Swords was at the bottom of the deck. Distance. Knight of Cups. Page of Swords reversed, they still hold the cup. They are not saying anything, they're keeping their distance. You bring about anxiety for whatever reason. Judgment reversed at the bottom of the deck. I feel like they just soon bury this. So I think if you came forward with an apology, they'd accept it. In time. This the the feelings are still there, but they're hurt feelings. Their hurt feelings. I'm not trying to point fingers, just throwing that out there. All right, let's get a moonology. You hurt their feelings. This is definitely a soul bond, though. Probably a lesson in it for somebody. It's time to release negativity. That's beautiful. Okay. Give me a wisdom oracle. Give me a wisdom. Higher power in the fates. You get a bonus. You get a two for bonus, guys. Okay. Just for practical purposes. I'm going to readjust. Okay. Whoop. Me and my janky broken stuff. I can't have nice things. I have a child. Okay. Whoop. There it is. Time to release negativity. Full moon in Scorpio. That's when it could go down. That's when things went down. Hard to say. Just throwing that out there. Full moon in Scorpio is significant. <coughs> if you've been feeling paranoid and acting weird, take this card as a very direct message from the cosmos to stop it. Worrying yourself is pointless. It's time to release any negativity you have around the situation you're asking about. If someone has been unkind to you, perhaps it's time to release them. This card heralds an emotionally intense time since both the full moon and Scorpio themselves are both extremely intense. It's time for you to feel all your feelings. There could be some nastiness in the air when this card is pulled. When you pull this card, if that's the case, Take it as a sign to move away from anyone or anything you feel is toxic. For some, however, this card has totally different meaning. Your sex life can improve now. If you make an effort, use your magic. You have all that you have all you need inside you to bring about your desired result. Okay. All right. Whoever needed that. All right, the fates number 17. The fates. Love it. Oh, 
Other people are who they are. You can't change them. The challenge is to accept them as they are, not try to make them otherwise to suit you. This is the time to look at how you attempt to mold people to fit your view of how they should be so you can remain in the relationship and avoid discomfort. What if who they are and whatever is happening between you and them in this situation is perfect from the perspective of spirit? Now is the time to accept what you cannot change, even if it means that you honor yourself, spirit, and the other person by moving on. Love unconditionally. For each of us is on our own journey, and we cannot direct that of another. Be aware that this relationship is indeed fated, and you are meant to evolve into, some, into a better version of yourself as a result of it. What did I just say? <laughs> what did I just say? Y'all soulmates. And sometimes that's why soulmates come into your life. To move something within you. Just throwing that out there. Alright, number four. Higher power. It's time to address how much effort you give to your relationship with your higher power. Called God, God is spirit, or any other name that is sacred and holy. Recognize that your partnership with spirit is your number one priority. The appearance of this card also indicates there is a deep spiritual bond between you and another person who is essential to your growth and evolution. Tend to your spiritual connections and remain aware of your nature. Oh, y'all. All right, Gemini. That's what I have for you this month. Thanks for coming down and hanging out. I appreciate you. I know that you are loved. Be blessed. Have a wonderful Bang in 2022, and I will catch you guys next time. Peace, love, and light, y'all.